don't you also think that through media and what we get to see here, I mean, here in Europe, people are, are thinking, um, well, we've got like the Cosby show and there's like this black doctor with his family and stuff. Mm. And they all think it's, it's that, that the people, the blacks and the Hispanics or um, I can say no, Chicano, okay. Chicano. Yeah, yeah. are like integrated in, the, um, in society, you know? And probably the first time that's, that's, that the first thing that will strike you when you come into the United States, I mean, mm. any place in the United States, is that you see um, poor black people and, and, and Chicano people Everywhere. Everywhere. I mean, it's, it's like right, it's right. discrimination, like in South Africa or something. Yeah, like, exactly. Um, you know, that's what I, part I, I wrote uh, Township Rebellion about, um, is the fact that, you know, you have all these, uh, these groupings of, of poor people. Uh, of Chicano people and, and, and black people, people of color, for the most part, within America, you know, you have uh, Compton and East LA and East St. Louis, and you have uh, the Fifth Ward in Houston, all these, you know, uh, very, very, you know, still very violent, still very, um, um, you know, lower class communities within America that are so separated from, you know, the white elitist, you know, suburbia. Yeah. Which, which is doing, which the power structure, I believe, is doing whatever it can to maintain, you know, that, that, that they have that power and that affluence and, and that they're, you know, throughout history, that, that their role models are the ones who are seen, you know, the most prevalent in the school systems, you know, because that knowledge of ourselves, if once given to us, will, will help us to, to understand who we are and our history and how rich and how full and how, you know, how, how its contributions uh, would uplift us and empower us to, to challenge it, you know. Um, but yeah, you know, it's so much like apartheid, but even the more dangerous in a sense because of the fact that it poses, you know, fraudulently as a democracy, yeah. you know. Dollar democracy, though. Hmm, yeah. You got the dollar, you got the That's right, you that's right. Democracy. Well, it's just, it's just, a, it's just a, uh, a system which, you know, enabled those of, of you know, the capitalist nature to, to as an excuse to keep on with their corporate success without, you know, their affluence, you know.